Hi, it's Dave T here, and today I'm going to show you how you can improve the process of filling the onboard tank on a Bailey caravan. And I'm going to do this by fitting an electric solenoid in place of the manual bypass valve. Now, once you have your Acrol full of water, the normal process to fill the onboard tank is to switch the pump to off, open the bypass valve, then switch the pump to external, wait for the tank to fill, switch the pump back to off, then close the bypass valve, and then switch the pump back to internal. So that's quite a faff, so I'm going to try and automate that process, and I'm going to do that using an electric solenoid valve, a length of 12mm pipe, a 12mm push fit elbow, some wire, an inline fuse, and some electrical connectors. So I thought I'd just jump in here and explain how the system works and therefore the reason for needing the valve. When using the onboard tank, the onboard submersible pump is used to pump water from the tank to the taps, etc. The pump is activated by the pressure switch, which detects a drop in pressure when a tap is opened. I'm pretty sure that the connection to the external pump hookup is one-way valve, but I'm not 100% certain, and it doesn't really matter for the change we are making. When we want to fill the onboard tank, the external submersible pump is used and the water flows in the opposite direction, actually coming out of the onboard pump into the tank. The pressure switch only allows the flow in one direction, which means a bypass loop has to be created by opening the manual valve. If the bypass valve is left open, then the pressure switch is effectively bypassed, which is why it generally starts going crazy if the valve is left open whilst in internal pump mode. The change we are going to make is to make the bypass valve open automatically using a solenoid valve. For those that are not aware, a solenoid valve is just a valve which is operated by applying an electrical current. We will be using the current supplied to the external pump, so that basically whenever the external pump is switched on, the solenoid will also activate. Hope that makes sense, and back to the video. Now the first task is to disconnect the existing valve and replace the bypass loop with the solenoid and an extra two small sections of pipe to allow for the difference in length of the solenoid versus the manual valve. The solenoid is then connected to the external pump connector so that it is energised automatically whenever the pump is switched on. So that's it, a fairly simple modification which should make the whole process of filling the onboard tank much more convenient. The next task I'm looking at is going to be to put a water meter on the onboard tank to check the level. So I hope you found this helpful and interesting. And if you have, then please hit that like button. And if you're interested in seeing some of the other videos I make, then please consider subscribing to my channel. But most of all, thanks for watching.